So there are four uh, types of loan, uh, balloon payment loan, interest only loan, constant amortization loan, and constant payment loan. Uh, in previous video, I explained the first two types, uh, balloon payment loan and uh, interest only loan. In this video, I'm going to explain uh, the constant amortization loan and in the next video, I'm going to explain uh, the most common type of loan, which is constant payment loan. In a constant amortization loan, borrower receives the loan uh, takes the loan let's say at the present time and has to pay uh, equal portion of principal uh, per period plus the interest that the imp that the interest is calculated based on the remaining balance so i'll explain a uh, constant amortization loan in an example uh, let's assume an investor takes the loan of a thousand dollars uh, that has the interest rate of 8% and the loan has to be repaid uh, over four years and we are going to consider the constant amortization loan so in constant amortization loan the principal uh, paid in each period is constant and it's not changing so the first step is to uh, calculate uh the 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 principal the principal is calculated uh, uh as uh the loan divided by uh the number of period that has to be uh, repaid so the loan was a thousand dollars and uh uh the loan has to be repaid over four years so the principal is going to be a thousand uh, divided by uh, four years uh, which is going to give $250 per uh, year so the principal is going to be constant from year one to year four and uh, is uh, $250 the next step is going to be uh, calculating the interest and payment for uh, each period uh, the interest is uh, the balance multiply uh, the interest rate of the loan so the balance at year one is a thousand dollars multiply uh, the interest rate for the loan which is going to give us eighty dollars so the and the payment equals the principal uh, plus uh, interest so the borrower has to pay uh, three hundred thirty dollars uh, at year one to the lender and then we calculate the balance after uh, this uh, payment is uh, paid so a thousand dollars minus uh, balance equals uh, the the balance of previous year which was a thousand dollars minus the principal paid uh, from $330, $250 was the principal that we calculated uh, here. So the left, uh, the, the remaining is uh, $750, which is the balance which is going to be applied for the calculation of year two. So for year two, the interest equals uh, balance multiply the interest rate the balance is the balance that we calculated uh, at year one after we paid the uh, after borrower paid the 330 dollars so uh, the balance is uh, 750 multiply the interest rate is going to be uh, 60 dollars and it is the interest that the uh, uh, borrower has to pay so in total uh, borrower has to pay $250 of principal plus $60 of interest which comes to $310 uh, at year two for this loan uh, so uh, then we are going to calculate the balance after the, the loan payment is paid uh, the balance is going to be 750 which is the balance of uh, previous year minus the principal which is going to be $500 and year three 
uh, the principal was constant, uh, $250. The interest, uh, in order to calculate the interest, we need to multiply the balance of the previous year uh, by the interest rate, which was 8%. So $500 multiplied by 8% gives uh, $40 of interest. Uh, the payment that has to be paid by the borrower to the lender is 250 the principal plus the, the interest uh, 40 which comes to $290 for year 3 and uh, uh, then we need to calculate the balance balance is the balance of uh, previous uh, the balance of uh, previous year after uh, uh, the payment is paid which was $500 minus the principal and the principal is constant and it is $250 per year and the remaining is $250 uh, so the balance after the balance at year 3 uh, after the payment is paid uh, the loan payment is paid is $250 for year four, again, the principal is constant, 250. Uh, the, the interest is uh, the balance at uh, previous year uh, is 250 multiplied the interest, 8%, uh, which gives uh, $20. And uh, uh, the payments for year uh, at year four is uh, the principal plus uh, interest, 250 plus $20 gives uh, 270 and uh, here the balance should equal zero the balance is the balance of previous year 250 minus the uh, the, uh, the the principal that is paid uh, at year four so if we calculated everything correctly the balance at the end of year four has to be zero So this is the summary of this loan. Uh, borrower has received a loan of $1,000 at 8% and uh, borrower has to pay uh, the constant principal of $250 uh, per year plus the interest that is calculated uh, based on the remaining balance. And as uh, you can see, the interest is uh, $80, 60 40 and $20 uh, from year 1 to year 4. But the principal is constant from year 1 to year 4.